Well, up to a million Americans are living with Crohn's disease. This is an incurable disease that causes your immune system to attack your digestive tract, and the symptoms can be very painful. In-depth reporter Anthony Hill tonight bringing us this conversation with a man who's living with that disease and highlights the latest treatments. I was at Florida Atlantic University. Uh, it was my, my first year there. For Quentin Desimores, life was good. He was in a new city starting a new chapter as he began his college career. I want to say around January or February 2021, I uh, ended up with food poisoning. Or so he thought. In the months that followed, he experienced digestive symptoms that were indicative of something more serious. He eventually went to the hospital where he was diagnosed with Eliocolitis, a form of Crohn's disease. Honestly, just looking it up, I, I felt nothing really but shock. Um, just reading that, you know, it was a, a lifetime kind of, you know, autoimmune disease. Historically, whites have had the highest risk of developing Crohn's disease. Essentially, people of Eastern European descent, like Ashkenazi Jews. But we're also seeing it more commonly in, in African American. Uh, population, patients of Asian descent. Um, I mean, patients, I mean, we here in South Florida are seeing it in patients who have Hispanic um, uh, origins as well. Some of the symptoms include abdominal pain, chronic diarrhea, bloody stools, and chronic fatigue. There still isn't a cure for the disease, but Dr. Asad Ur-Rahman with Cleveland Clinic says, doctors have identified some of the molecular structures that cause the body's immune system to attack the digestive tract. By understanding those mechanisms, there has been, you know, work on uh, medications that block those inflammatory pathways that have helped patients, you know, get their inflammation under control. As for Quentin, he's on new medication and has learned to live and control the symptoms of his autoimmune disease. His doctors have worked with him on his diet, He's even back to doing the things that keep him strong and healthy. But, you know, I'm starting to get back into the gym now, just obviously, obviously for fun. But, you know, um, it's something I love to do. So, yeah, basketball, working out. In Tampa, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.